G'day everyone, this is a long yabbying video. So grab your favourite slippers, a beverage of choice, put your feet up and enjoy this yabby mega vlog. Or is it a mega yabby vlog? Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now it's 20 past 7 in the morning, I've just finished checking the nets for the last time and I've got myself a nice feed of yabbies. Now, this isn't a long yabbying video, this is a compilation video. This is, I think there's seven, maybe eight short yabbying videos thrown into one. Quite often if I've got to go somewhere like, say, Albury, I'll throw nets in the dam on the way up. If I've got to go to Shepparton, I'll find a dam to throw some nets in or a creek. Sometimes when I'm going fishing, I'll just find a little hole beside the road, a drain or something, and throw some nets in, just to feed my curiosity and learn whether there's any yabbies there or not. So this video is a compilation of all those times where I've just ducked out and thrown nets in a local dam or dropped nets in somewhere on the way somewhere else. This is a bit of a compilation of those videos. I hope you enjoy it. G'day everyone, today I'm exploring a new waterway to see if I can find any yabbies in here. I've never been yabbying here. I have my two homemade bait traps and they're both baited up with fish offcuts. This one's got a, a rainbow trout head in it and this one here's got a, uh, a yellow belly head and there's bits of yellow belly and trout in each net. <laughs> Let's put them in and see if there's any yabbies in this waterway. My love of exploring new spots has brought me to this spot. Let's just see how it goes. Reasonably deep, which is good. Now these nets are designed for the long haul, so I won't be checking them in 15 minutes or so. I'll come back later on today and check them. Right. Both nets are in. I'll give them well, I don't know how long I'll give them. A few hours, I suppose. Hour, two, three, four, five. Who knows? I'll check them when I check them. These are set and forget type nets. You put them in, you forget about them, and then you come back a bit later on. Righto. It's been about an hour and a half since I put this net in. This is like the impatient check. <laughs> I can feel it vibrating. Must have just been rubbing up against something as I brought it in because there's nothing in the net making it vibrate. <laughs> That's a bit loose there. I might just have to bend a couple of wires over here and do a little bit of retensioning. Right, right. That's a bit disappointing, but anyway, we'll keep trying. We'll leave it in a bit longer. I've got to be honest, the water doesn't look that yabby-ish. It's a bit clear for my liking. But you'd think there'd still be something living in there. You'd think, but there's no evidence of any. <laughs> oh, let's leave it in for the long haul. There's spiders everywhere, don't worry about it. Oh, just got a big cobweb. You good? No. What's wrong? That's only a smoke. What are you doing down there? It's only a bloody orb weaving spider, won't it? Yeah. Alright, we're going to get down. We'll go this way. Just watch where you put your feet in case there's holes and stuff. Oh. Oh, that don't hurt. Well, they don't hate you. They don't want to kill you. Alright folks, it's uh, the same day, but about eight or nine hours later and it's sunset and I've got Holly with me. Helpful Holly. Alright, can you hold on the torch on that? Yep. Do you want to check it or do you want me to check it? You first. Me first? How many's in here? Two. Okay. You know, you're allowed to use two of these, that's at once. Okay. I've got a bad feeling. <laughs> i got a feeling. Oh look, I caught one. Where? One. <laughs> one tiny, weeny little one. Which one had the most earlier? Neither of them had any. I don't think this is a very good spot. Come on, one. Come on, one. I'm gonna bite my finger this bike, I reckon. Come on. I should let him nip me. Try the torch, right? I'm on the board! <laughs> With one tiny, insy, runny little gabby. Let him nip you then, see what? You just said you wanted him to nip you. No. Put your hand, can't be that bad. I changed my Ooh. Ooh. Ah! 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 Ah!
hook on. Right, I'll unbait the net, then we'll go check the other net. Okay. Where am I bleeding? On your leg. Oh yeah. Why are you always bleeding? I don't know. Probably got bitten by an ant. Right, where's the net? Down here somewhere. Go through that tree, it's easier than going round. <laughs> Come on, where's the light? What are you doing way back there? <laughs> do you want to check it or do you want me to check it? Mm, you can check it if you want. No, because. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> no, Alright. There was one. There's something here, I can hear it. Look, what have we got? Aha! Uh -huh. Look, I hit the jackpot, we got five! No way, bro. They're all too small. Look! Shine the torch in there, bro. Did one of them get out through there? One, two, three, no, they're all from me. We've got five. They're all yellow belly bait. A bit too big for redfin bait and a bit too... That one will lose it. That big one will be good for cod bait. But I was after a feed, and from the perspective of catching a feed, this has been a little bit unsuccessful. Hello there everyone, it's such a beautiful day out here and today I'm going to be putting a yabby net in this dam. Have a look at the size of this dam, it's tiny. Back in early in September I put a yabby net in here and I caught one yabby. And I thought well it's only one yabby but it's enough to tell me that I need to come back when the weather's a bit warmer. So here I am, but I'm only putting one net in. I've only got two nets with me, I'm actually going to another town to visit a couple of friends who have both been a bit unwell in different uh, different ways. So I'm going to visit them and I thought well on the way I'm going to stop at a couple of spots that I've tried in the past and haven't done any good or not much good. And I'm going to just put a yabby net in each spot and just see how I go. Put them in once, check them once. I've got open top lift nets in both dams and I'm using sausages for bait. I'm using snags for bait. If you're not from Australia, you might not know what that means, but a speak or sausages, snags. I was going to use cat food, but I ate it all. Don't ask me how that happened. Anyway, I better get these snags in and get the net in. I'll try and do this with one hand. <laughs> Can I get two sausages into the bait bomb? With one hand? Doesn't matter if I scrunch them and squash them, that'll be good. Because then that'll just let the fat and the smell and stuff out. Yeah, here we go, look at that. Mash them right up a bit. Beautiful. Sausages in bait bombs. It's got to work. Righto, sausage net number one. Make sure there's no holes in the net. There is a bit of a hole in that corner there, actually. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, dear. Anyway, hopefully the yabbies don't find that one hole. And here I am at the second spot. I did put a couple of yabby nets in here probably four to six weeks ago and I didn't do any good. But the weather's been quite warm. The water would have warmed up a bit since then. I'm just checking to make sure that there's no holes in this net. That other net's a real concern having that hole in the That one's got a little bit of a hole in the corner as well. The problem with the abbeys, when they get into square or rectangular containers, the first thing they do is they, they walk backwards until they hit a corner. And these, oh, I reckon it's time I bought some new nets. Anyway, let's put this one in, then go visiting. Right, it's just on 12 o'clock. I reckon it'll be a good three or four hours before I get back here, and that'll be plenty enough time to see whether these nets are going to do any good. Right, I'm back to check the first of the two nets. I'm checking these in the reverse order to the way that I put them in because I'm making my way home. Right, come on. And nothing. They hit a rock. Oh, I can see the rock under the water there. They hit a rock, but I think if there was anything out that fell out, then I would have seen it fall out. Right, net number two. Hopefully this net has done a bit better than the last net. I know I caught one yabby in here earlier in the springtime, so there's potential. I've caught one. <laughs> well, there's still potential. There could have been more, you know. They could have got out the hole. I'm not going to let game matter. I just have to tip the net upside down and you'll fall there, you silly bugger. He's not a massive yabby. A leaf, I think. He's not a massive yabby, but he's... 
you know, he's reasonable. Certainly you could eat it. But one's not enough to feed me. See you later, mate. Uh, well, this experiment was uh, about the same level of success as the last time I yabbied these two dams. One in this dam and none in the other dam. <laughs> Back in early October, Holly and I came out and we put a few yabby nets in this dam and we caught probably four or five really small yabbies. Nothing big and not very many. Things have warmed up a lot since then and I've decided to come back and try it again. Now I'm only putting two nets in this dam. I'm putting two collapsible bait traps in here. They're brand new. I've just taken some bottles off my uh, open top lift nets and put them on here for now because I haven't got any cord. But I've just noticed while setting them up, they've got really small holes. In Victoria, the diameter of the funnel can be 5 centimetres, I think. And that's at the time of filming. Now, that can change. But I've got a funny feeling in New South Wales, it's only 3 centimetres. I could be wrong. But I reckon these might be New South Wales compliant, perhaps. I'm not really sure. But they just look like smaller funnels. And that could throw a spanner in the works. Because I might not. Uh, it might filter out the big yabbies from the small yabbies. Oh, well, if there's small yabbies in here, it'll be a good uh, good experiment, but I don't know how I'll go catching any big ones. It'll be interesting to see. Anyway, I'll bait them up, and I'm using, after the great the greatest disaster of modern time, the uh, the ceasing of the making of Goodo's dry dog food. I've had to find something different. I've got pedigree, small breed with tender bites, real beef with real veggies and cheese and chewy bites, and a little dog on the front. That one. Let's bait them up and get them in. My right, disappointing moment number one was finding out that the funnels were too small. Disappointing moment, disappointing moment number two is discovering that there's a huge big rip in the bait pouch. And all the bait's falling out before I even put the net in. This trip's doomed before it starts. <laughs> anyway, let's get them in. Better just be a bit careful where I put my feet here. It's uh, certainly got the snaky look. Alright, net number one, just get in there under the bank. I might have to throw it out a bit further, so sitting on the bottom mightn't be as deep as I thought. How's that? That covers the net, that's a start. And net number two I'll put over here in the bit middler part, in the middle of the dam. Is it deep enough there? Yep, beautiful, right next to all these grasses, see how that goes. Well, both nets are in. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not really feeling it. I'm going to take a wild guess. I'm going to guess that I'm going to catch three yabbies. One in that net, two in that net. That's the guess. And they're going to be small. Let's hope I'm wrong. <laughs> Let's hope there's heaps. Right, I'm back. It's been about four and a half hours. The water looks really dirty. It looks good for yabbies, but are there any yabbies? Well, there's one on the outside. Probably couldn't get in the hole. There's yabbies. Not very many though. The biggest one is that one there. And he was on the outside of the net. There's some nice bait size yabbies in there. I might... I'll put this one in there with them. They mustn't be able to get in through that hole, look. The hole's just too small. Don't you fit, mate. Oh, he got in, just. Alright, I'm going to keep them for bait. I'll go and count them up when I put them in the bucket. I think there's five or six in there. The only reasonable size the Abby, if you wanted to feed, was on the outside. It was in the funnel. I reckon it couldn't get in. What have we got here? They're nice bait size Yabbies. Great live bait. One, two, three, four. It's more than I thought. Five, six, he's a little bit big here too, seven, I'll throw this one back, I can use his tail, but if I put him in the bucket with them seven small yabbies, he'll kill them, is there any more in the net? So there were seven yabbies in that net, that's uh, quite a bit better than I thought, let's throw a little bit of grass in there with these yabbies just to keep them separated. Stop them from killing each other. Where did I put this other net? Oh, there it is. Seven in the first net. Well, that's probably five or six more than I thought I was going to catch. There's no big ones on the outside, but there's certainly plenty inside. I've 
done quite well here. I've caught quite a few uh, bite-sized yabbies. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll throw them a bit big. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So, are there still any left in the net? No. So, I've just, I've just caught around 30 bait sized yabbies. Awesome. I'm going to keep them in a foam box at home where I can keep them alive until I want to use some yabbies for bait. Beneath that murky water in the bucket is about 30 ideal bait sized yabbies. Now one takeout from this video is when you go and when you buy some collapsible bait traps, take note of the size of the funnel. I think there's two different sizes. I think there's a three centimeter and a five centimeter, and this is the smaller size. And I think that's to comply with other states. I think New South Wales you can only have three centimeter funnels, I'm not sure. So if you want some uh some of the, these are great nets, and if you want to use them to catch a feed of yabbies, well, you'll definitely need to buy the ones with the larger funnel size. Here we are, there's my bait yabbies. I have this foam box on an angle so that they can walk up here to get air where it's shallow. I have a deep side and a shallow side. It's time to try a different dam. This is a dam that I tried yabbying in about three or four years ago and done no good. Are there any yabbies in here now? There's only one way to find out. Now the water's very dirty in this dam, so there's got to be something in here. That's probably either going to be carp or yabbies, I would imagine. There's a bit of rubbish in the dam here as well. There used to be a house on the side of this dam years ago, but it got demolished. We dragged yabbies in this dam back in the 1980s when the people that lived in the house beside the dam used to let us come in here. But then last time I tried it was a couple of years ago and I've done no good. Since then we've had a couple of really wet years, prolonged flooding, the dam stayed full for a couple of years and now the water's really dirty so I reckon it's worth trying again. I've got two open top lift nets and they're both baited up with dry dog food in these bait bombs. I was going to put chicken in here, some chicken drumsticks. But I thought I'll go with the bait bombs because with the chicken drumsticks I'm worried if there are a lot of yabbies in here, and I don't know whether there's any or not, but if there are a lot they could chew all the meat off the bones and everything and then get out and take off and I can end up with nets with no bait and no yabbies. The yabbies do become trapped in these nets but they can get out after a while, they're not foolproof. So anyway, I thought if I'll try these, the scent will stay in the nets, the bait will stay in the nets for as long as I need. I think that's a good, uh, a good setup for a longer soak. Let's put them in. I'll call this one the mayo net, the mayonnaise net, because I'm using a, uh, a mayonnaise bottle as a float. And sorry if there's any wind noise, it's a rather blustery day today. Had a lot of them lately. Right, this is, these, these two nets are actually brand new. I'm hoping that I can put this out here because there's cattle in this uh, there's cattle in this dam and I'm hoping if I'm going to use this rubbish to my advantage. <laughs> net number two, I'm going to throw that out a bit. Hopefully the water's dirty because of massive big yabbies and not because of carp. I'll leave these in for a few hours now and I'll come back later on this evening and check them. Hopefully the cows don't find this. Right, I'm back, it's time to check these nets. It's nine o'clock, it's been about six hours. Now there's a few drops of uh, rain falling on my head right now and a few bolts of lightning <laughs> flashing around. Not much, it's one of those storms where you get one bolt of lightning every 10 minutes or so. There's actually one of my favorite yabby dams is just over there, probably only 100 meters or so from this dam. I knew, I know I could have put these nets in that dam and caught heaps of yabbies, but I wanted to try something different. I love trying different things. That's how you learn. The size of the raindrops falling on the water. Ooh, just saw a flash of lightning. Here we go. A moment of truth. <laughs> Gosh, are we joking? There's absolutely nothing in the net. It's empty. I'm standing here in the pouring rain 
and thunder for absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, it's one. I caught one. Hey, hey. Gotta go. There was one in the net. There was one in the net. I saw it in the net. It couldn't possibly, it's a brand new net. It can't possibly have a hole in it. Okay, yeah. Ha ha. Gotta go. There was one in the net. What the hell? That's a disappearing yabby. You know what? There's a really good dam about 100 metres from here. I'm already drenched anyway because it's teeming rain. I'm going to go and put these nets in the other dam. I'll leave that camera rolling as I walk over here in case I get a big flash of lightning or something really cool. Oh no, this is a dam that never fails. It's literally only 100 metres from the other dam where I only caught one and I lost that. You'll probably recognise this dam in the morning when I go to check these nets from the uh, from recent videos. But anyway, I put one in. Alright, I'll check that in the morning. Now the other net here, the mayonnaise net, there's actually a dam just behind this dam, literally only 10 metres away from it. I don't think it's as good, but I'm going to put this one in and try. This is like the reconnaissance net. That net there is in a dam where I know I'll catch yabbies. This one's in a dam where I don't know. Alright. Dam number two, or net number two. Here we go. This dam here is a bit like the dam over there where I had the nets in there. I just don't know. I don't know what to expect. This dam just there over the back, I know that that's got lots of yabbies in it. So surely there's got to be something in here as well. Let's come back in the morning and find out. Right, I was the next morning and I'm back. That is one of my favourite yabby dams. I always catch heaps of yabbies in there. I've never really tried in here. It was dry for a long time. It filled up a couple of years ago, so... That's the experiment. This is the one that I think will catch heaps. Oh, some. And the other one's over the back there. It's, uh, wasn't much chop last night. Big shout out to the people that lease this, this land here. Thank you so much for slashing the grass at the gate if you happen to be watching. I, uh, I appreciate it. Oh, there's one on the outside. There you go. Have I got a bit of a feed here? Oh, well. I've caught a few. It's actually about what I was expecting. I wasn't they can gabbies can get out of these nets. They're not foolproof, so I was sort of just hoping to catch a few and that's what I've caught. Alright, let's have a look. I might just throw some water in the bucket. I reckon, you know, ten or so, ten or a dozen of these larger ones would be uh, good for a feed. One. But I don't know what's in the other net, so two, three, four. I'm doing this one handed, that's why it might be a little bit more trickier. Five. And these two are a bit on the small side. I'll throw these two back in the dam. I've kept five. Go back. I've kept five. I've <laughs> slid down like a slide. I've kept five. Kept five. Kept five. Kept five. Now, if, there's, if I get five nice ones in the other net, I'll, I'll keep a feed. But if the other net's got nothing in it, I'll throw these ones back. Well, let's hop over to this other dam. Oh. Got an audience. Good morning.
Yeah, this dam was dry for quite a while. So was the one up there, and I only caught one yabby in that. Smaller dam, but has it got any yabbies in it? Oh yeah, there's two. So I've caught, what have I got, seven, seven nice sized yabbies, you know what? I'm gonna let them go. See you later, yabs. Oh, must be scared of yabbies. See you later, cows. They were comfortable with me, but as soon as I saw the yabbies, they took off. I'll let them go. There has got to be yabbies in this small dam. I found this dam during the winter and I thought, when it's spring, I'll come over and try yabbying here. I came here in the middle of September and I caught nothing. But now it's December and it's a lot warmer, so I'm gonna put some nets in and see if there's any yabbies in here. I've had to walk in here. It's a fair old hike to this dam, so I've got two collapsible bait traps, both in this bucket, and two sausages, one for each net. Right, oh, net number one can go. I'm going to throw it out fair way because I don't think it's all that deep. Well, the net's covered, so that's a start. <laughs> right now, net number two, I'm just going to try and throw out in front of these reeds here if I can. How's that? That'll do. It's not a very deep dam, this. Now both nets are in, the dam doesn't appear to be very deep. When I came here back in September I was using meat and string, so it was hard to gauge how deep it was. Now that I've got nets, I can see them sink and I can tell you now they didn't sink very far. It's got dirty water, really dirty water, which is a very good sign, but there's no shells around the edge, which is a bad sign. Oh, so I was going to say there's no yabby holes, but this there is. There's some there, I don't know whether they're old or not. Get the grass out of the way. I just spotted them there now while I was talking. I don't know whether they're fresh or old or not, but they certainly look like gabby holes. That gives me hope. Anyway, I'll either come and check these later on this evening or I'll come back tomorrow. I reckon it'll probably be tomorrow. Right, it's the morning after. These nets have been in all night. That's a long walk into this dam. Now, if I haven't caught any yabbies this time, that's it. Never coming back. <laughs> I caught none last time. If I catch none this time, that'll be the end. Surely there's got to be yabbies in here, I reckon there has to be. I reckon I can, oh something there, feels heavy. There are some thumping massive big yabbies in there. Huge yabbies, yes! I'm getting a feed. I was just thinking on the way in, I wouldn't mind some for a feed. Even just, you know, ten or a dozen or so, maybe not even that many. But I want big ones, and that's what I've got. These are huge enormous. That's a word I just invented, but that's okay. Because these are big yabbies. Now, now I've got the... Light a bit better. There we go, beauty. I'm all tangled. Yeah, look at these big dark yabbies. Have a look at them, they're black as the ace of spades. Get out, mate, there's still one in there. Let's check them for eggs as I put them in. Look. One. Two. Three. Four, five, that's a lovely big yabby, look at the size of it. Six, well I've got a feed, I'm taking them home. These two are a bit smaller, so there was eight in that net. But these two are a bit on the smaller side, they can go back into the dam. New beauties, I've got, I've got half a dozen 
big fat yabbies out of the first net. Now for the second net, but something I realised with this net was the bait was all gone. The sausage had just evaporated, I suppose you could say. Broken down and disappeared. There's something in there. Oh, this is really light. There's nothing in this one. Oh, look. It's torn around the funnel. It's torn around the funnel there, look. That's why there's nothing in here. This is the one with the small funnel. It's been... Uh, I reckon the Yabbies have tried to get in and somehow ripped the net or they've been in and ripped their way out. Something in there. Oh, this is really light. There's nothing in this one. Now that's disappointing. You know what? I've got half a dozen big yabbies, and that's sort of what I wanted. I was thinking on the way in, I wouldn't mind, not a huge amount, I don't want 50 yabbies. I wouldn't mind just eight or nine, or even half a dozen great big yabbies that I can boil up and enjoy. And that's what I've got. And a broken net. That's a bit of a shame. That's a bit unfortunate. Now, despite one of the nets being stuffed and having no yabbies, this was quite successful because I've got a feed. Now, I've got a little bit of a confession to make. In a, uh, one of the recent clips, I, on this video, I realised that I had the wrong nets. I had the nets with the small funnels, so I actually stretched the funnels open. Just with my fingers, they're not overly strong. I stretched them open a little bit yesterday. Just a little bit. But I reckon what's happened, it's created a weak spot. And then as the yabbies have climbed in, they've been able to tear that weak spot and just make it so they can walk in and out at their leisure. <laughs> So I'm going to have to throw this net out and buy a new one, but I'm going to buy, uh, I'm going to make sure I get the ones with the larger, the larger circles. But anyway, this was a success. Way over the back of all this phalaris grass, there's a dam. And it's a dam that I got quite a lot of yabbies in last year. So today I've come back with my brand new nets to try again. Now the first thing I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to make sure that the zips are done up. In my last clip, I noticed when I was editing it that one of the zips, the, the net that had no yabbies, the zip was open about 10 centimetres or more. And the net was actually upside down, so they probably just walked out. So I've got new nets, the zips are going to be done up. They've got the bigger five centimetre holes. Somebody asked me recently where I buy the nets with the larger holes. I bought these at Kmart in Wangaratta and I bought four of them, two for now, and then these things seem to only last a season or so, so two more for after that. And they're both baited up with a sausage. One supermarket sausage each. Let's get the nets in. If I can get to the water through all this phalaris, I'll just drop this right in front of the long grass here. For some reason, I don't know whether it's a psychological thing, but I like them better if they're upright. That's better. Perfect. And net number two can go in probably only three or four metres away from net number one. I'm not putting them too far apart because it's just too overgrown to walk. That will do perfect. It's a very overgrown dam, but last year it was a very productive dam, and I reckon it will be again this evening. I'm going to leave these in now and then come back and check them later tonight. I reckon they'll probably have about four hours and I reckon I'm going to get a few yabbies. Check this out, it's nearly 11 o'clock at night. The red belly black snake on the road. I don't see him. He's flattening his neck out. He's a little, uh, little cautious. How cool is that? I don't see very many of these at night time. But you are super cool. A nighttime black snake. It's only about 18 inches long or 40, 45 centimetres long. Hey, settle down, mate. Hey, 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 calm your farm. That's on a photo. That is so cool. Look at all the bugs. It's such a hot night tonight. It's like 26 degrees or something still and it's nearly 11 p.m. Off you go. I might take it out of video mode and uh, get a photo.
Rightio, I'm back. How did I go? I reckon I'm going to go all right. It's a new net. Oh yes, I can hear. I can hear. What have we got? There's only four. There's only four. I thought there'd be more than that. There's only four. And there's two of them are okay, but two of them are okay, but not overly big. I reckon I'll put them back. Bit disappointed, I actually thought there'd be about 20 in there. Hang on, there's another one. Didn't fall out. Any more in there? Five, but not the size I'm after. I want monsters. Oh well. Better luck next time. What about this other net? I can hear noises. I reckon I can hear a big one. One big one, five more. So I caught ten all up, but there's only one that's the size that I want. Now I think I'll put them back. Five yabbies, see us later, mates. Oh, whoops. Ah, they didn't land in the water. Oh, they'll make their way back. They'll find their way back in. They're yeah, good like that. Well, I caught 10 yabbies, ranging from small to almost big. Wasn't one of my more successful missions, but it certainly wasn't overly unsuccessful either. Unless I know there's a dam here with a few yabbies if I want to come and catch some. It's hot, it's windy, and I'm at another dam, and it's a dam that I caught yabbies in a couple of years ago. And I'm going to put my two homemade yabby nets in and see if I can catch some yabbies. Right now, the hatches are open, ready to put the bait in. In my bucket of tricks, I have some redfin that I'd uh, collected from the Waranga Basin and red, uh, recently. Now, I used redfin for bait not that long ago, and I didn't do all that good. But what I reckon I should have done, I should have either cut slits in them or even just cut them in half. Just to let the guts and the blood and everything sort of seep out. So, I've got a knife, I'm going to sort of butcher them a little bit so that they're a bit yucky. And just see if that helps uh, lure the yabbies in. Now the nets are baited, the winds are not abated, you see what I've done there, baited and abated, anyway, let's put the nets in! Net number two with diced redfin bits and pieces, I put that over this side of the dam. Where possible I like to try and get the, the bottle and the cord in the tussocks like that because there's a lot of cattle in this dam, in this paddock. And they'll walk down here, you can see their footprints there. They'll walk down the other side, but they won't probably walk over the top of that tussock. Right, both nets are in. I don't know whether I'll get back here today or not. If I do, good and well. If I don't, I'll check them tomorrow. They rally around the family with a pocket full of yabbies. They rally around the family with a pocket full of yabbies. Folks, it's not the next day like I said it was going to be. It's been about an hour. I decided to just hang around for a while, do a bit of exploring, look for some wildlife, and just give them about an hour. And, oh no. No yabbies, but no black beetles. I would have thought that in the time that that was in there, I would have caught at least a couple of yabbies. Oh well. This time they'll get all night, because I'm going home now. Hopefully there's more in this net than what there was in the last net. Nothing at all. Wow. I'm back. It's the morning after, but this float shouldn't be out here on the ground. It was in that bush. I'm assuming, by the way, the uh, rope sort of goes around like that, that the cows might have uh, been down here. I'm hoping it was the cows and that no people came and checked my net. Anyway, had, oh, oh I've got to say, it feels heavy, but it was on a snag. Oh, yes, beauty. Oh, beautiful. 
a nice feed of yabbies. There's not a lot. There's five, but they're nice size. They're not monsters, but they're big enough. Big enough. If I can get uh, just a few in the other net, even seven or eight that size, I quite enjoy this. It's a nice little snack. And being able to uh, sit in front of the TV, just take my time shelling a few large yabbies and eating them. Beautiful. When I filmed my yabby net comparison recently, somebody asked me if those other steel nets, if I could make a, a, a comparison video. Hang on. One, two, I'm keen to get back in the water. Three, four, checking them all for eggs. Five. When I made my yabby net comparison video recently, somebody asked if I could make a, uh, a yabby net comparison comparing these nets to those steel nets. But I've got to be honest, there's just no comparison. These just run rings around those nets. Righto, final check. Yes, oh yes, similar result. Similar result. One, two, three, identical result, really, I think there's five. So I've got ten nice eating size yabbies. How you get? Come on, I'll get the other one out in a minute. Oh, he nearly got me. Gee, you double jointed, mate. You can reach behind you. One, two, three. I thought there was five. There must have only been four. Let go of that bloody meat, mate. I'll put you down there for a minute. This guy's crawling out of the net himself. I really don't want that, uh, that red fin head in there. Let go, let go. Right. So there's five in that net. There we go. They're not the biggest yabbies I've ever caught, but they're certainly uh, nice size yabbies. Nice enough for a feed. I've got, uh, I think, 11 that size to go home and snack on, and that suits me fine. Well, folks, this dam's been quite successful. After the first check, the impatient check, after a bit over an hour, I caught nothing and I thought, this dam used to be good now, there's no yabbies left. But clearly there still are plenty of yabbies in here. I'm happy. Awesome. Well, folks, that was something different, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed my lengthy yabby mega vlog. Or was it mega yabby vlog? Whatever you want to call it, thank you all very much for watching.